Good morning, my fellow traders. It is 7 July, Wednesday, 2021. Um, just just before five o'clock in the morning, as I record, going through um, the early market, um, uh, the early market scan uh, before the market opens to look for opportunities. My name is Njobulin Sabande. Um, I'll be scanning the market with you together in this video. Uh, you can find the ones I did previously um, in the link in the description on the link below or on the card towards the end um, in any case um, it looks like that uh, starting off with APSA it looks like that bearish flag is starting it looks like it wants to 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 start to play out um, as a stock struggling struggles against that 50 period exponential moving average um, with the you know the giant uh, bearish and coughing candle there so now we have to wait and see if that low gets taken out if it does um, I'll, I'll, I'll be taken out as a result um you know losing just one percent just uh you know around one percent on the position there uh on on on, on absa uh, african rainbow was down yesterday uh with um also with the bearish engulfing candle as it struggles around that 50 period exponential moving average um perhaps it's good uh, to to come back to the retest that 200 period exponential moving average forming that head and shoulders pattern that we spoke of um the other day um let me just quickly plot that up on the that would be the uh the shoulder there uh in the right shoulder if it does come back to retest that 200 period exponential moving average and of course we have the head down here um and you can see if, if you um, just quickly just rename that because that's the head. Um, and if you if you can project the the um, the height of the head uh, from the neckline, you, what you would note is it it's, it takes us back um, to 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 those three hundred rand highs there and perhaps the target. Um, uh, is the you know three or three eighty there nice two to two uh you know two to one risk reward there but as you know I do not trade on targets um so if you get a close through that's two sixty eight um that would be my entry my entry with a stop loss just below that right shoulder there um the low of that right shoulder there we'll see but for now um or maybe around that two forty two eighty seven level um and plats still struggling with that 50 period uh 50 day exponential moving average um so yeah uh, you know break above the 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 uh 50 period exponential moving average and above that um 1736 level provides me with a good entry with a nice stop loss just below and that 200 period exponential moving average just below the low of those green candles there you can see we had a nice bullish and golfing candle there on um uh, on the plat so once we get over the 50 period exponential moving average though there's, there's less resistance um you know if you you, you if you were a target person or a target trader um that uh, you know 22 31 level is a decent uh you know uh, level to places to 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 have your target and you know that's a giant uh, risk reward ratio there even if you put your stop loss just below the low um, uh, you know, of, 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 of that swing low there around that um, 19, I mean, 1495 provides a decent uh, risk, re risk reward ratio there. Uh, moving right along. Uh, so the, the uh, ABN Bev had a force break and uh, came back, took up that low there. But now let's see if the uh, you know, it looks like it's coming to test, retest the, the base of the, um, uh, you know, that um, 1008 and 1074 range, the support of, uh, you know, the support of that range and also testing the 200 period exponential moving average, nice, beautiful head and shoulders, you know, with the golden cross there, you know. What I tend to, 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 to note uh, um, you know, especially with 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 golden crosses, that the the first rally usually doesn't hold. Um, you know, on the first golden cross, it rallies and then comes back. 
to 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 retest the 200 period exponential moving average um and then once if if, if that 200 period exponential moving average holds then um you know it provides you know a, a good support from that point on um so beautiful head and shoulders pattern here um looking for the breakthrough uh you know 1074 neckline if you can get it close through that um provide it's uh you know beautiful entry and you can project um the height of the head upward uh for 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 for, for target placement and as mentioned earlier um i don't typically trade on uh um i, I don't typically trade with 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 targets in mind i just um trail my stop behind me and see how, how much the market wants to give me or take away from me so i don't put boundaries around the market so that's 12 uh 12 88 just in gross reward ratio there uh, uh, just by outboiling it i would uh, wage around um two and a half to three uh risk reward ratio there on on, on this particular trade on a, a b and bev i spent from here so on the right side of the 50 day exponential moving average um, and holding on the right side of that 50 period exponential moving average so i'm looking for still waiting for that break above that um uh 167 80 uh um, you know with a stop loss just below um that 50 day exponential moving average around that 158 um 70 level um there's about um there, there is a, quite a bit of a story happening here with us ben with the the whole vaccine magic thing happening um, from from a fundamental standpoint so perhaps if we can get like a catalyst um you know from from that end uh that, that stock will, will move quite higher but if it does take out that low i want to be out um of of, of that stock perhaps if it does take out that low perhaps it it will look to 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 retest the 200 period exponential moving average um because it hasn't I did, uh, you know, came quite close to 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 testing it, but uh, repelling it, almost as if uh, you know magnets of the same side, um, you know, pushing back higher. So we could see if if we, uh, uh, if the market takes out that that low of on 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 Nasdaq, we could see a similar um, stance happening with the stock coming back to test the the two hundred period exponential moving average, or just at least coming close to it. Um, uh, but if it takes out that low, I want to be out of the stock. But uh, otherwise, if it, if we get it close through that 167.80 level, um, you know, I'll be adding to my position with a stop loss just below um, that 50 period exponential moving average around that one um, 157 uh, uh, and some change there. uh astro foods uh, looking quite decent. Um, looking looking fairly decent. The, bearish and golfing candle there um you know trade it did trade below the low of that bearish and golfing candle um but let's see if if, if um uh, you know if if, if, if this uh minus sell off is been uh, is finished um i suppose uh you could say that it it was just uh coming back to it's it's coming back to retest uh what was the resistance pri prior resistance um, you know, as it tested it here with that nice bullish and golfing candle there, and it held quite well. Perhaps it's coming back to retest um, that 150, uh, you know, 150 level as uh, I came quite, quite close. Um, that 149 level to, 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 to hold it now as support. If, uh, you know, if, if, if this level holds as support, um, uh, you know, it's either the, 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 the market holds the support at 149 or uh, you know if if it t if it takes out that low there that swing low there um i want to be out of the position and watching from from the sidelines perhaps with the uh, um you know re-entry on the on the break back above that 149 level but otherwise if we can get a close through um that 159 uh, 50 level uh, if we can get a close above that i'll be adding to my position with the stop loss there at 149.50 just below that low of that swing low there iron a swing low with a bearish and golfing candle so if you can get through um that uh, one uh, 159 level um i'll be adding to my position with the stop loss just below that um swing low there around that 149.70 uh on uh astro foods every eye moving right along uh, Palo World, uh, looks like uh, you know 
the stock loss lost the battle with the 50 period expansion moving average um it did come quite close the past couple of days to um stopping me out excuse me about that um uh, it did quite it came quite closely to 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 um stopping me out um you know if it does take out that low um i want to be out of the position uh, perhaps it, oh, with the re-entry um uh, now with a stop loss just below that swing low there but for now um we we'll just wait and see um on 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 on, on balo uh, looks like you know it's it's having a tough time with that 50 day exponential moving average Bet isn't looking good, so moving right along from that. Uh, BHP coming back to retest that 50 day exponential moving average. Um, so I, I did give it a little bit of room, the stop loss just that around that 200 period exponential moving average. Uh, you know, seeing that there's um, the uh, you know, there's a low prior to that that the market has to take out first. Um, so if um, uh, I want to see how long it stays below. Uh, um, that uh, four through one level if it stays for for you know maybe uh, a week or so below that level without taking me out I'm gonna break back above that level I'll add to my position with a stop loss there at, um, at that 416 level otherwise I'll, if it uh, you know if it starts to really I'll only be adding to my position around that triple four level with a stop loss at the same um, 1460 level. Bitcoin finally broke. I did move the, uh, you know, my stop loss was somewhere around here, just below that, uh, you know, the um, the low of this um, swing low here, just below there. Um, so I did move my stop to that 302.55 level. I'm going to be adding to my position 3.3 shares on um, on, on Bitcoin, and because my stop is now in profit, um, slightly, I think about 0.6% in profit. Um, I'll be adding a full one percent position on, uh, um, on on Bit on Bitcop at the open. Um, with a stop loss there at three o two fifty five, blocking Bitcop, Bitcop quite a lot. And as you can see, um, uh, you know, uh, you know, an open runway there. Um, now let's uh, if I can zoom back a little bit. So now if we can get a close through, uh, uh um, uh. 384 uh, perhaps yeah yeah there. if you get a close three uh, 343 I'll be adding to my position and find ultimately if you can get through uh, 352 I'll be adding to my position unless of course the market gives me a, 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 a better uh, you know a better level to 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 add to my position um as it moves along because that's quite some distance before we can get to that 352 level there um i'm sure the market will give me an opportunity to to to, to add into my position before we get to that 352 level um so but we'll see we'll see we'll take what the market gives us uh bit based on the right side of the 50 day exponential moving average holding above it um of that out of the way holding uh, uh um, you know above the 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 um that 50 period expansion ordinarily um i would I would have added to i would add to my position on a break back above that 199.32 level because it seems to be a nice um resistance level there but um i can't add while i still have uh, i can't i can't have a new entry below um a last entry uh, because it's just um, adding to a losing position uh, so you know on a break back above uh, um, 192 I'll add to my position and throw my stop ever so slightly to that 184.50 level um, on, on, on Bitvest next is Kipitech um, Kipita come, uh, you know, looks like it's struggling now to 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 break back into 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 that higher box, um, back above that um six and eighty level. 
I did run, you know, as mentioned earlier, you know, in the previous videos, uh, ran the trend and, and got stopped out on that, uh, you know, uh, that sell off there when the market was was selling off um, a little bit. Um, it was just the, after adding to my position as we broke through that level, my stop loss was just below um, the, that those lows there. And I got taken out as the, the stock comes back to, 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 to hold the support of the lower box. So for now, um, the stocks can oscillate within this range for all, uh, you know, for as long as it wants. But I want it back above that um, 1680 level there. Um, Richmond still, you know, you know, in, in, in the range. Um, we'll see how, you know, if, if it finds support um at that level they will see where it find support um on uh your richmond but i want it back above that uh 177 level clicks uh you know holding that 200 period exponential moving average which is quite significant for me um with a nice bullish and golfing candle there uh um yesterday so if you can get it close through that 253 um, I'll add to my position and you know trailing my stock perhaps um, with with the with the 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 the, the, the farmers uh, you know the farmer stocks um, the, the 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 whole vaccine story you know some of them supplying vaccines some of them administering vaccines uh, you know that we could see um, those numbers coming back coming to to the balance sheet and them being the catalyst. Um, for the stocks to 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 start moving, but for now, you know, as you guys know, I I trade the charts, not the companies. Um, so when we close through that two fifty three, I'll be adding to the position. Perhaps, um, two fifty four is slightly better. Uh, when we break above two sixty four, um, two fifty nine, and ultimately two sixty three, and again, um, at uh, you know, ultimately that um two seventy seven level. I'll be building my position around those levels as well. Um, coronation, finding it's, you know, it, you know, uh, it's a tug of war with that, uh, uh, you know, uh, two hundred period exponential moving average. Um, the two hundred per uh, the, the 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 moving average not not, a lot, you know, holding on to the stock, not 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 not, not letting it move. Um, but it, the price it's uh some, you know closed above even though the, we we uh, the the stock was red on the day um it was green from the previous day and um even though it was red on the day it closed it did close above the 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 the, the 200 day exponential moving average but what we don't know is that um if it was saved by the belt since it was red or um you know the 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 red uh, the redness of the bar was saved by the bell as well um, because as you can see we had that nice uh, uh you know kangaroo tails uh, you know so showing that um the the buyers on the on the day uh you know the, the sellers started off strongly but the buyers uh, uh you know so we were, were uh you know, won the day essentially um nice bullish on golfing candle uh as, as this game is starting to turn around um it came quite closely to 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 taking me out there um so you know when as it breaks back above we'll we'll, we'll redraw the 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 uh you know my boxes to see where my next entry will be but if i zoom back a little bit Uh, perhaps a close above uh, let me just pull back to the current moment um so a close above that level uh you know just provides comfort not an entry level let me just zoom back a little bit um that's the level that we're looking for now um uh, that's the level i'm looking for so i want it above 34 and it's some change let me just uh Jump back into so if you can get a close through that 30, 30, 34 and 60, um, I'll be adding to my position. Um, and we'll see how the market, uh, you know, moves the market structure moves and route to, to, to that level. If it does indeed go to, to, to that 34, um, um, 3460, if we get a nice swing low, 
to 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 to, to place a stop just below there um we'll see but you know if if i were to to to, to asia maybe around the 32 rand level would be uh, you know a nice you know uh stop loss area but we'll see as the market moves um at this moment i don't have a a, a targeted level to place a stop um moving right along um so if the price is below 200 period risk monitor moving average i don't care for any more analysis on um the stock i wanted back above um that 200 period risk monitor moving average so just though um, looks like um, the, the the you know the buying on stock is starting to 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 come back into the market, um, you know after that really uh, you know partly boosted by the um, uh, by 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 um, by the uh, announcement from Distel that they're interested into into buying a stake into into Distel, um, so uh, yeah man uh, that's a. Uh, minus selling off uh, and then and you know perhaps when, when the lockdown was when, when lock just lockdowns generally are behind us and as we as the winter comes to an end as we're approaching um spring and the summer um uh, you know we, we could see the, the, the stock starts starts to really as as uh, you know alcohol uh, consumption rises uh, a, 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 as a result so drd and uh, no, so with the distal, I wanted above, uh, what is it, one seventy two, but not to 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 add to my position, but to trail my stop up to that one sixty two level. But I could because to add to my position, I want my stop above that one seventy five level because that last entry was uh, I believe it was like four or five percent position there. Um, so perhaps to add to 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 my position. You know maybe at the break above that 180 level i'll be adding to my position because the stop will most likely be either at a break even from that last position or better so for you know that 180 level and we're not you're not very far but just a little under 20 rand um away from 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 uh you know from that price so we'll see i'm gonna skip drd uh because for obvious reasons, Exaro finding some consolidation. Um, you know, bearish and off in candle yesterday. Um, so I wanted through one seventy. Um, in order for me to move my stock to just below that fifty period exponential moving average. Um, as the stock looks to close the gap there, um, and and you know, to 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 you know, once we get that dividend. Uh, you know, extension behind us. You know, I, I, on 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 um, uh, uh, on next arrow. First round. Um, you know, on the right side of the fifty day exponential moving average yesterday. So I'm not sure if that breakout because uh, we did trade above. We go, we did trade above that uh, uh fifty three rand level yesterday, but it closed below it. Um, we'll see if if the, the 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 stock continues to hold above that fifty period exponential moving average over the next um few days. Fushini also in a consolidation mode. Um, but if we take out the uh, if we could take if we take out that low, I want to be out of the stock because I'll be taken out. I'm just giving it a little a little bit. Of, uh, um, uh, of room at the minute but if we can get through um, six, uh, 163 43 I'll add to my position trailing my stop to that um, 149.50 level Glenco broke out of the bullish uh, uh, um, um, bullish flag and uh, <clears throat> holding above that 50 period exponential moving average to close below it yesterday um, with that bearish and golfing candle but holding above that um, uh, um, what was the resistance level of the bull flag um, now holding it as support so if we can get it close through 
if you can get a close through uh, 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 that 6358 level, I'll add to my position with a stop loss just below um, the, that 50 period exponential moving average around that 60 and 30 level, and ultimately again above. Uh, let's do that. Above uh, 165, and then again above. Again, above that 66.90 level. Go is not looking very good. Uh, I'm, just, I'm losing. Yeah, there you go. Um, so on uh, growth point, beautiful strong breakout yesterday with the gap, gap and drive pattern yesterday. So it kept up with the open and continued to move in that direction. Um, so I trailed my stop to that uh, 1480 level. We could argue that um, 1465 is just as good, but I want I like giving my stops a little bit, uh, you know, breathing room um, and not tightening it uh, too quickly. So I will be adding 68 shares. On um um on, on on growth point with a stop loss there at fourteen forty eight, um and uh, now let's um let's see if we can get through um fifteen seventy three. If we do, I'll add to my position again with the stop loss now at um that uh you know um at uh fourteen seventy. So if we can get through fifteen seventy three. Yep, 1573. I'll add to my position with a stop loss there at 1470. You know, building that position up until we add profitability. Um, how many gold? I'll just skip. Uh, Impala Plat still battling with that 50 period exponential moving average. But what, what I like about this particular stock is that it broke out of that down, uh, a downtrend channel. Um, almost like a you know bull flag there, you know broke out, came back to test it, held it as support. Now just uh, battling with that fifty period exponential moving average. So I want it above, um, uh, you know above two fifty one, and some change. Uh, let me see, uh, yeah two fifty one one. So I want it above um two fifty one one um with the stop loss there at two thirty. Um, as it breaks back about the 250 period exponential moving average. Um, so I'll be building my, my position around 251, 260, 261, um, maybe 271. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, around 271, uh, maybe 281. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, and then 287 ultimately are above 293. So I'll be adding to my position um, as we as we uh, um, um, uh, you know move higher to 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 the 293. If you're a target trader, that 293 is a very nice nice target. Even with a stop loss there at 221. Excuse me. Um, even with a stop loss there, two to one, that that's a great risk reward ratio there. On um, if you're patient enough on on Impala. Um, Imperial finding a tough time with the fifty period exponential moving average. Um, we did take out um that low there, but uh, my stop was not taken out because my stop is always has a little bit. Slight more room. I just put. I don't put it bang on the uh, on the cent below the low. Um, I just you know a few a few cents. Um, just a few cents below uh, um that low. Excuse me there. So if we come back above that fifty one fifty five level, I'll be adding to my position on Imperial. Investec. I'm um, finding support uh, around that 50 period exponential moving average, um, you know, making a higher low. So if you get, get a close above that 58 level, um, we'll be making a higher high. Excuse me. 
we'll be making a higher high um, uh, uh, on uh, in, in invest tech so if you break it back above that 58 rand level i'll be adding to my position with the stop loss just below um the low of the traffic there um around that 53 rand and some change jc nothing good is happening there kumba looking quite well i'm holding that resistance level there uh, but if we can get through um that uh, 687 level i'll be adding to my position during my stop um for now uh, at six, uh, 60, 626. But let me just uh, pull it slightly higher to that 622 level. Um, uh, just below that 50 period exponential moving average. If it takes out, takes it out, I want to be, I want to be out and watching on the sidelines, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll just as easily jump back in. Um, but I'm reducing my risk ever so slightly um let me just uh, quickly update the journal uh let's come back come stop loss is now six two two thirty nine So I'll just by risk to just um, to, 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 to 0.83 percent on um, uh, 0.83 percent of my account balance. Liberty, let's move right along. Um, Life healthcare, looking quite decent. I'm holding that 50-day exponential moving average, moving average. So if we can break back above the 23.42 level, I'll add to my position with a stop loss there at 21. Um, 70 or there's about on the um, uh, on, 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 li on life health care I'm lacking the stock quite a bit but um, the, you know this picture could just as easily change with, with the president requesting that the the, 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 uh, the hospitals um, you know cut down on the or rather pause on the elective surgery and that's the biggest drive of revenue on these health stocks so we'll see we'll see how how maybe perhaps the market is already priced that in already and the balance sheet is looking good not that i've spent time to look at it um uh, but if you, I, I want it back above the 23 42 level and i'll add to my position similar story with mediclinic but um below the 200 day exponential moving average my interest stops um the momentum is still battling with the 50 period exponential moving average um let me uh lower now lowering my my my, my next my entry point so if you can break back about we can break above 1950 i'll be taking the position with the stop loss just below um the traffic area around that 1865 level um mondi looking quite decent um with a close above um 385 i'll pull my stop to um 368 um and add to my position there Uh, Mr. Price looking like it's losing the battle with the 50 period expansion moving average, but coming back just to test that 202 or uh, you know the 202 resistance now holding a support which is quite quite uh, you know quite decent. Um, so if we can get through that 216 level again, I'll add to, I'll take the position with the stop loss around that 22235. Sorry about that. Uh, around that two or two thirty-five level. Um, MTN looking quite decent. Um, so if it breaks back above that uh, one o six level, I'll add to the position uh, with a stop loss around that one o one level, um, one o one forty four level. Um, you know, with a close above that one sixty six level, and ultimately, uh, again, if you can get through one o eight on m10 um moving right along from uh, from multi-choice netbank um 
so it it, it did like it, it did look like it was uh, breaking that resist that what that one seventy one resistance level yesterday, but came back with a giant bearish. But came back down with that bearish and golfing candle there, uh, on uh, you know. Napier rock moving quite strongly. Now it's quite close to that uh, 106 level, but a rand away. So if we can get through that 106 level, I'll add to my position with a stop loss just below the low of that candle, the low of that bullish and golfing candle there. Um, you know, it was slightly above, uh, you know, profit, but I'll add another 1% risk on the trade. Um, uh, uh, Netcare battling with the 50 day exponential moving average. Let's just delete all the tools so that it can have a cleaner chart. Um, battling with that 50 period exponential moving average. So, what I want from the stock is a close above, um, a close above that 1540 level. Um, and then I will place my stop loss at just below. Um, that low there around the 1345 level there. Uh, yeah, yeah, one seat above there, but I could be starting to build my position above, um, uh, if we can get a close above that 50 period exponential moving average. It's just that I like it, yeah, actually. Um, um, you know, that candle there provides that, it provides us with a nice resistance level. As you can see, it was respected quite a bit. Um, so if you can get a close through that 1471 level, I'll take the position with a stop loss there at 1335. I'll start building my position from that point on. Um, and then again, if you can get um, through um, that 40, um, 1541 level, I'll add again to the position and ultimately um, above the 1590 level. Uh, so for now, Let's just uh, wait for the market to break above that 1471 level. Now, them still battling with that 50 period exponential moving average, but it closed above it today, uh, yesterday rather. Um, so, with a close above 231, I'll take the position with a stop loss around that um, 211.46. Um, all mutual still battling with that 50 period exponential moving average. So if you can waiting, still waiting for the 1356 level, uh, with a stop loss there at 1277. Pepco, I'm liking Pepco quite a bit. I'm liking Pepco quite a bit, but if it takes out that low there, I'll get stopped out. Um, uh, you know, if it, if it breaks back above that 20, 20, 20, 92 level, I'm liking it quite a bit. So I'll be adding to my position with a stop loss there at 19.57. Um, we'll see how that improves profitability to decide how much risk we take on that trade. Pick and pay, moving right along, quarter, let's move on. Um, uh, uh, Royal Bafuking, um, having a tough time with that 180, it it, 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 it trade above it yesterday. So it did trade above it yesterday. Um, uh, so if we can get through that 108.20 level, I'll add to my position with a stop loss there at um, that uh, 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 95 rand level there. Remgro, um, looking quite decent, holding that 50 period exponential moving average. So if you can get through 116, I'll take the trade with a stop loss below that low there um, at around that 111. Looking quite decent. I'm liking the fact that it's holding that 50 period exponential exponential moving average um uh you know on on, on rem grow rain mentioned still battling with that uh, 200 day exponential moving average and the volatility there is so insane that i don't want i don't want the stock anymore um below that 33 rand 52 level i'm just going to wait for that 33 um 52 level because it's clearly in the sideways mode um and it, within this range um, not looking very good, but but we are what we are seeing is the stock ever so slightly making 
um, higher lows. Not by very much, but ever so slightly, you know, almost as a, you know, holding higher lows. That's, that's, that's quite, that's quite decent. But, uh, you know, I wanted above that um, 33 and 52 level there. Samna looking quite good. It looked like it was going to break on uh, through that um, falling wedge there. Like, as I mentioned, it'll take half the position um, on, on the break through that falling wedge and pull on the full position once we get through um, uh, the neckline there at 63 level, 63 rand level. And ultimately, I want to get through that 64 level. I'll just be building the position. Um, uh santam making high lows but the period below 200 days so moving right along no more analysis needed there um sapi looking quite decent holding that 50 the 200 day period expansion moving average um so i wanted above that 50 day exponential moving average we can take out that that high close there um at 42 can get it close through 42.17 I'll be adding to my position. I'll, I'll take the position, and if we get through um forty two forty five twenty, I'll add to my position with a stop loss there at uh, um, thirty nine rand level. Sasso, um, battling with that fifty day exponential moving average. Um, bearish, giant bearish on the laughing candle there. Um, so if you can find a green close through that um, uh, above that 50 day exponential moving average, I'll take the position with a tight stop either at 200 or at 211. Um, we'll see how far it, it, it moves when, when it breaks above um, that level. Um, ShopRite did get a temptation to it was quite a temptation because that one uh, 57 level held, uh, it, it, you know, after after that green close there, um, it held, came back to hold here as resistance, came and held again as support. So one could say that um, this provides us with an entry uh, uh on 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 uh, on uh um uh short right as the stocks move back into into that uh, 157 162 range so uh, i'm still scratching my head on that one um you know i could you know i'm just going to exercise on it um you know add to my position trade my stop to just instead of that there um to 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 that 150 level raise it by just a rand um you know and, and you know and add it to the position and, 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 and push that position the risk back to two to two to um one percent but if you can get through 162 then uh, i move my stop to that 152 uh, um level but i'm still going to ponder it uh between now and the open um so Banya holding that 200 day exponential moving average I just wanted above that 40, 64 rand level, above that 50 period expansion moving average. But if the 50 period expansion moving average comes, comes close, as the stocks looks to, uh, continues to consolidate, the break above 60 rand will provide me with an entry. But for now, um, uh, for now that 64 rand and some change is uh, uh, you know my entry level with ultimately a close above the 50 day exponential moving average standard bank um so waiting for that uh close above 128 um we did test it um, you know came close to testing it yesterday um hold you know but uh we just i'm just gonna sit and wait um you know that's that pattern i'm seeing again where you know we have a golden cross already and the first really doesn't hold comes back to test the 200 period exponential moving average with um you know that pattern i, I see I, I just noticed that pattern happening from uh you know time and time again perhaps now one could add a rule that says on the first rally of the breakout of 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 the uh, um, uh, you know, on the first breakout after the golden cross, don't take the trade. Wait, f wait for that really to 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 um um to 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 not hold and 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 fall back to the period, 
to the 200 period exponential moving average and then only then jump into the trend but for now um, i'm just going to keep my rules as they are but I'm, s I'm starting to see that trend happening moving rather long telecom as you can see again with telecom um golden cross really doesn't hold comes back to to the 200 period exponential moving average and then rallies again so one could say okay after a golden cross that that first rally we don't entertain it but we entertain it after it has um you know came back towards the 200 period exponential moving average and then on the second rally you then enter the um, um, um uh the trade take a brand back into the uh, into the prior range waiting for the um, 218 level. Waiting for the 218, uh, close about the 218 level there. Transaction capital, the sellers above uh, at that uh, 3840, seems like they're still in the game. Um, they haven't ran out of stocks to sell as yet. Uh, but if we can get through 3840, I'll, you know, take the, the take the, take the trade uh but for now if i get stopped on 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 if it takes out this low I, i'll get stopped with a nice nice profit as it tests um um that 50 day exponential moving average i'm sitting with a decent favorite profit i've been in this position position for quite some time now so if i do get taken out i'll you know it'll be a handsome profit um but you know i i will, I will just as easily jump back in back above that 36 red level and some change there uh true words no, i'm still still you know okay going nowhere slowly so waiting for the close through that 58 rand level what come not that good holding that 200 day exponential moving average uh, but i wanted that through you know through the older traffic actually above i want it above 135 man i don't want it i don't want it uh inside all, all that traffic I, 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 I don't want it inside all, all the traffic because the volatility is so insane um uh that volatility is too much look at the, the size of those candles um so i'd rather want it but i want it above um outside of that range there um it has been flat for 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 for, for quite some time as watercom last stock is woolies um so wool is holding that on the right side of the 50 day exponential moving average even though yesterday we closed below it um but it's it, it looks like it's holding that 50 day exponential moving average so with the close above 55 rand 80 i'll add to my position now pulling my stop to 52 rand um and some change last um uh so tricks 40 if we bring back the lazy stuff if you trade on the short side um yeah, the lazy stuff is so the, the trade is still live but um as you can see the uh, let me just quickly come back and remove these all of these um it's, it's just an aside with market consolidating perhaps it's going to come back to test that ninth um sixth round level um uh, before it starts to really again um so that's it for today um with the at the open we're going to be um I'm, I'm, i am going to be buying uh bitcop 3.3 shares with a stop loss there at 302.55 and also growth point um i'm going to be buying myself some um 68 growth points um with a stop loss of 40 uh 1448 please remember that this is not a tipping service um you know it's just what i will be doing and you know as a disclaimer i'm not responsible for what happens in your trading account please um note that this is not a tipping service in any case um if you like the content please do subscribe and hit the like button and, and the bell notification button so that you don't miss any of these videos as i try and do them uh, as i do them daily um do join us this evening Simon brown and, Simon brown and myself follow the trader series um as we do this uh you know live um and you can ask questions if you wish and if you have any question on the charts do you drop me an email njabulo at vrishwera.co.za um yeah yeah
that's pretty much it. Um, otherwise, thank you for hanging with me. I will do a a a a video uh, uh, with with uh, entering these positions and and going through uh, how the market takes care of my open positions at the open, um, and then will that will come up a little bit later, and then um, I do join Simon Brown and myself. The link to the Zoom. Uh, webinar is in the uh, uh, description below otherwise you know trade well stay safe it's still a pandemic out there trade well stay, stay safe trade with discipline you know trade with proper risk management check you again next time cheers